All right, guys, so I'm over here in front of this here Nook Express inside the Flamingo Las Vegas. Now, this uh, was one of those places you just want to get a quick snack. So I got what's known as the Flamingo Croissant. Yep, they heat it up for you too. Let's check it out. Wow, comes with ketchup, guys. So guys, it looked a lot better inside the display case. I'll have to admit. Mmm. It's really dry, guys. Well, believe it or not, you know, it was a little dry on the outside, but once you go in a little bit, it's, it's more moist. Hey, 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 food and travel channel, guys. Look, there's an egg there. There's an egg. It's, it's more moist on the inside. Hmm moist much more moist well there you go guys sandwich from Nook Express inside the Flamingo Las Vegas Alright guys, I'm here with Eric. We're gonna talk about the My Vegas app that you can play for free on like Facebook and stuff and apps for your phone, etc. How are you doing Eric? Very well and just so you know the My Vegas app is only good for MGM properties. Mm. And it also is great where you can use it for the monorail in addition to um, and you can use it for bus tours as well. Uh, you can also get some discounts with it for some helicopter rides. I think you can get like $50 off. And MSC Cruises as well. Mm. I've used it. Um, I spent, it only it doesn't cost money, but it does take a lot of time. And it can be quite fun to play. Do you have any like uh, favorite rewards from the app? From the app, I would say that the best thing to do is it only costs 12,000 coins to get 25% off at like the Bellagio. 25% uh, off the Bellagio. Yep. Mm. Every day they reload the rewards and you have to catch it at the right time. Mm. And so every day you just, you just check on random times and I guess hope you get it. Um, I actually got the two for one buffet at the MGM Grand. I was so excited. I booked it, then I watched the episode Danny the Medic on how the MGM face sucks. So I canceled it. Oh wow. I mean like you can still walk in and take a look at it. That's true. But I just thought, no, I'll go to the Bacchanal instead. Oh, Bacchanal, much better. Yes. Much better. Yeah, yeah so. I like, but if I could never have chicken, I'd be okay because then I'd just have duck. I That's really, good. I really like duck. Oh yes. I mean, especially like Peking duck. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's the fat near the yes. skin that's so good. Especially when they blow up the chick or the the duck so that they can get really crispy skin. Mm. 
You, you just don't get that with chicken. Maybe if you try to do the same thing with the chicken, like you blow up the chicken, dry the chicken, and cook it the same way. Peking chicken. Hmm. That's a good idea. I mean, like, why not? Unless, it, unless they tried it and it failed thousands of years ago, they but you know what, screw it, no, no, no Peking chicken. Yeah. Maybe Peking quail. Huh? Peking quail. Little, little. Yeah. Peking quail. Because then the, the skin to meat ratio would be very good. Yeah. Because um, oh. that's what you want. You, the skin is the prize. Hmm. That'd be interesting. So, you just get like, each person would get like four <laughs> quails. <laughs> That would be your serving. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe six. Yeah. Peking quail. Yeah, just just like peel the peel the peel the skin of the quail like a jacket. Yep. Yep. And it'd be yeah. served with quail eggs. Ah. The whole cycle of life in front of you. Yeah. Can't you can't beat good food. Can't beat it.